Romani people. You may know us in English by the term gypsies, however that word is considered a racial slur. We prefer the term Roma. Now if you know anything about Romani people, you may have heard that we originate in India. That's probably all you've heard. No mention on why we left India. Who were we in India? What was our origin, our original practices, our original religion, our language? Well, that's what I'm here for. Davin Bakhtale. I'm a Romani person, and I would be delighted to share my history with you. First of all, where's our origin? You know, South Asia is a very diverse and big place. Now, you may have heard that we originate somewhere in the Punjab, Rajasthan area. And while it is true that our ethnogenesis happened in that area, that means our group was born there. There is much more to the story. Genetic studies show that the Proto-Roma, our ancestors, descended from the ancient ancestral South Indians with very little Western Eurasian admixture. And that may explain why alongside the Roma, another one of our native names is Kale, and that name is still used by many Romani clans to this day. Kale in Indic languages means dark-skinned people. The Romani language and genetics shows a probable origin in central or western India, and then a migration up into northwestern India where we formed as a group, the Roma. So where exactly does the word Roma come from? Well, in our language it means people, but it's originally a Sanskrit word, Doma, and that was the name of our caste of traveling musicians and dancers that still exists in India to this day under the name Dom. Now the word Doma most likely originated in either the Dravidian or the Munda languages as a word for drum because musical tradition is an integral part of our identity. Another part of our identity was our religion. Before Roma became mostly Christians and Muslims, we used to be Hindus. Specifically, we practiced the Shakti branch of Hinduism with the focus on the goddess Kali and we still preserved a version of the goddess Kali in our culture to this day as the Saint Kali Sara. To this day, Roma in the south of France still have a yearly ceremony for the Saint Kali Sara that is very similar to the ceremony of Durga Puja. There are still many aspects of Hinduism that are still well alive in our culture. That's a conversation for another video. Now, in addition to being Doma, there are some other occupations and castes that have been proposed for Roma. For example, the Romani historian Dr. Ian Hancock theorizes that we may have been Rajput warriors. More on that later. And certain researchers have connected my Romani clan, the Kaderash, who are traditionally metal workers, with the Lohar caste of India. Now for the question of the day, what we're all here for, why did we leave India? Why did we make that long, long trek into Europe, knowing we'd go through hardships, knowing we would be persecuted and seated to outsiders? Why didn't we just stay in India? Well, before we get to why we left, let's establish when. Now you might be intrigued to know that Roma are not the only group of Doma that left India centuries, almost a millennia ago. There were actually three migrations out of India, the Dom people, the Rom people, and the Lom people. Let's start off with the Dom people. The Dom, also known as the Domari, often get confused with Romani people. They are the gypsies of the Middle East, but they have their own language that is related to us. They are very much related to us. They are our cousins, but they left India before us and they've developed separately from us. Domari people mostly live in Arab countries such as Syria, Iraq, Palestine, and Egypt. They are very well known in Egypt for the Gawazi dancers, who are known for popularizing belly dancing. You see, linguists know that the Domari people left India before the Romani people because of their language. Around the year 1000 in the Common Era, there was a linguistic shift in Indic languages that can be seen in the Romani language, but it cannot be seen in the Domari language. That tells us that the Domari people must have left India before the Romani people. It also tells us that Romani people left India around 1000 AD or after. Now for the two prevailing theories on why we left. Let's start off with Mahmoud of Ghazni. Mahmoud of Ghazni was a Turkic Afghan military commander and sultan who invaded the northern parts of India around that time period of 1000 AD. Now his invasions and the conquest of the Ghazanavid Empire wreaked havoc on northern India, especially areas like the Punjab and Uttar Pradesh. Some historians believe that these brutal invasions forced Roma out of India either as civilians or as warriors. Now back to Ian Hancock's theory about us being Rajput warriors. Now he believes that we were soldiers that were displaced by the armies of Mahmud of Ghazni. And that's the reason why in our language, most of the vocabulary that is related to war or military is of Indic origin. And he believed that we spoke a language called Rajputic. And that was a mixture of various Indic languages that came together at the warrior class. Another theory was that we were Indian nobles in the ancient Indian capital of Kanawuj in the state of Uttar Pradesh, which was sacked by Mahmud of Ghazni. Or simply we were just low caste nomads who were fleeing war and invasion. 
Now, theory number two, which you could either view as separate or going hand in hand with theory number one, is caste-based oppression. First of all, throw out what you think you know about the caste system from history class, because the castes in ancient India were much different than the ones in British colonial India that you learned about in history. Now, as mentioned previously, the Roma were part of a low caste of traveling musicians and dancers known as the Doma. And this is backed up by the genetic evidence that the Proto-Roma, like many low caste and Adivasi groups in India to this day, had very high levels of ancient ancestral South Indian DNA, and they were most likely very dark-skinned compared to their other counterparts. A common misconception is that we were Dalits. However, as mentioned previously, caste is very different in ancient India as it was in modern India. Being low caste does not automatically equal Dalit. And if you look at our cultural traditions, our language, our hygiene code, it doesn't really match up with being Dalits and working those stereotypical Dalit jobs when we were actually musicians. However, caste-based oppression, especially to those who are darker skinned, was still very much a thing in ancient India. And that is a very probable cause on why we may have wanted to leave India. Now, this could have gone hand in hand with the invasions of Mahmud of Ghazni on why we wanted to leave India, but we can't know for sure. At the end of the day, these are just theories and educated guesses based on our language, genetics, and traditions. So you are free to draw your own conclusions and pick whichever theories you feel are most probable. It looks like the Indian government likes the Kanawush theory, as they are building a memorial to Romani people in our persecution in Kanawush. Make sure to tune into my next video of Romani history told by a Romani person, where I'll be going over what happened after we left India. And make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. Devlesa!